ça. Comment? Comme elle avait promis avant la semaine de relâche, la présidence souhaite faire une déclaration à propos de l'ordre. As promised before the break week, the speaker would like to make a statement about order and decorum in the House. Après huit ans de ce gouvernement, le taux d'inflation. After eight years with this government, inflation is the highest it's ever been in Quebec. The Honourable Member, uh, you will have an opportunity to start with all questions once I just make this statement to the House. The question period will follow immediately question. after uh, this statement. Question period. Ask the honourable member, please, uh, to take a seat for a moment while I consult with the table. So, colleagues. Colleagues, this, the speaker has the choice as to when to start question period. There will be a full question period that will follow after this declaration from the speaker. It's important for us to make this declaration. The Honourable House Leader from the Opposition. I'd just like to uh, remind the Chair of uh, Standing Order 5A, time for statements by members, oral questions, orders of the day. At 2 p.m. on Mondays, sorry, not later than 2.15 p.m., as the case may be, oral questions shall be taken up. Not may be taken up, shall be taken up. It's well past 2.15, Mr. Speaker. After cons consultation with the table, it is important for members to understand that we have uh, dérogé de cette habitude de commencer. That we have moved away from starting exactly on time. Le, le président, la présidence va faire cette déclaration. The speaker will make a statement. It's not my intention to make this a habit. But according to the standing orders, I do have the opportunity of starting oral questions after my statement. It's the Honourable Member from Regina. The Speaker ought to know, when, 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 when rules are not followed, when there is a derogation from a rule, when that is pointed out to the Speaker, the Speaker then enforces the rules. These standing orders are the, 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 the property of the House. It's up to the House to decide when we're not going to follow a rule or when we're going to change a rule. This is a standing order that the House has adopted. You are a servant of the House. You should follow the standing order.
I'd like to thank the Honourable Member from Regina Capel for pointing out the standing orders, and indeed he is correct, there are written standing orders. However, however, there is a long tradition in this House that the Speaker has the ability to, uh, to making sure, can I ask the Honourable Member to please allow me to finish as I have the floor at this time. I'll be happy to recognize the Honourable Member for, for, for a point of order. It is really important that we understand that the Speaker does have this ability to make a statement. We will have full oral questions. Uh, at the end of this, uh, at the end of this statement from the speaker, it is an important message, which I think members would appreciate hearing, because it gives an indication as to how the speaker is going to be proceeding in the uh, months and years to follow. Colleagues, come and let me avant la. As promised before the constituency week. Order the Honourable Member from Carleton. Every day in this House, the opposition has the occasion to respond to the actions of and hold the government accountable for its actions on behalf of Canadians. That happens at 2.15 every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. That is not a may, that is not a possible, that is a shall. There is nothing in the clause that creates question period in the standing orders that allows the Speaker to arbitrarily change the time in order to give a speech. I will note that the Speaker has uh, a plethora of occasions to stand on his feet and make any point he wants or any declaration he likes. He does not need to do it in the middle of the sacred period during which we hold the government to account. Now, I see, no, if I'm, I'm Mr. Speaker, if I may, this is a, the first time in all of my years here that I have seen a speaker interrupt question period to make a speech. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Uh, and I furthermore, uh, we, the fact that you've risen to your feet in order to impose apparently a series of guidelines that are not approved by the Board of the Internal Economy or voted on by the House of Commons, and that you're doing it in violation of one of the existing rules that is already in place, suggests a very serious and unusual departure from the normal way in which Parliament exists. The government is here to serve Parliament, not the other way around. We ask that you allow us to proceed with question period and you make your statement afterwards. I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for Carleton for his intervention. I would like to inform the House, though, this is not the first time that the Speaker has interrupted the proceedings to make a statement from the Chair between the point of SO31s and oral questions. <laughs> colleagues, colleagues, so that everybody can understand this very clearly, my immediate pre predecessor, for example, has done this at least on two occasions. It has also been done. It also has been done by speakers in the past. I am going to continue with this statement. I think it's important for all members to understand this, and I'd like to reassure the member from Carleton and all members that there are going to be no new standing orders that would require the approval of you members. But we're, we're talking about. I invite you to listen to this statement. I would invite you to listen to this statement in order to be able to, con to improve order and decorum in this House. Come is unacceptable, unquote. The Honourable Member, Honourable Member from has raising a point of order. I, I would usually ask if this was a filibuster, for, but for the purposes of plan, planning, I'm wondering if the Speaker might indicate to the House how long he expects to continue. 
The member, this should continue uh, for the, it's not a point of order first, thank you, uh, but uh, I will let members know that it will continue for the time that it will take. It shouldn't, shouldn't be too long. Oh.